Hi, I'm Maria Downey, and we're doing Milo's Great Invention. I'm Caitlin Haynes. And I'm Nikki Johnson. Um, the summary of the book is that Milo is a little boy, and he's the only one in his family who does not like peas, and so he decides he's going to create an invention to get rid of the peas off of his plate without his family knowing. And the story goes through him uh, making plans and redesigning his invention to make his peas disappear. And it's a simple chapter book. It's about 24 pages, and it's great for beginning readers, um, like with chapter books, and it's around the third grade level. The author is Andrew Clements. He, is, he was born in New Jersey and loved reading as a child, um, but he went to college to pursue a degree in education, and he actually taught for seven years, fourth grade, eighth grade, and high school. Um, after that, he went to be a singer-songwriter, which is where he got his first publishing job and eventually published Frendel, which is probably his most popular book. Um, his books are always brilliant and humorous and very age-appropriate for many many, many children. Um, we did include a quote by him just because it sums up his passion behind writing and, and life, really. And basically it's saying you simply have to do the next good thing before you know it, you're living a good life. The connections that we had to math, we found in Virginia SOL 3.4, A, C, and D. And it's basically representing multiplication and division facts for 100. Students must be able to solve single step practical problems and demonstrate fluency. And our Common Core also reflects the Virginia SOL, use multiplication and division within 100 to solve word problems. With the lesson, um, we had an idea that the students would be able to identify multiplication and division facts through the 100, estimate answers of multiplication facts, and draw arrays to help them solve questions and problems. Um, in the beginning, we will read the book aloud to the students, and then um, us teachers will create problems for the students to solve. And in the middle, we will give each student a bag of green beads to arrange into equal groups to solve the multiplication and division facts that we have provided. And the end, we will have the students summarize what they have learned about the multiplication and division problems and have a group discussion to just really fortify what they have learned and to ensure that they are understanding the topic. For our Global Connection, since this would be around a third grade book, we related our lesson to a third grade exploration. Um, we decided that uh, we wanted our students to explore and think about what it would be like to live without a car or electricity, since those are two major inventions that have really impacted life as we know it today. Um, so we want them to choose one invention to live without and explore how having that invention impacts our lives, our daily life, school life, work, communication, transportation, etc. Um, understanding the differing perspectives, we want them to relate to various locations that differ strongly from the area that we're in. And since this is third grade and an open research project, we narrowed it down to six areas that we know have a strong difference than ours. Um, and then we want them to also develop their own alternative or invention that will aid in the lack of resources. So in these countries that you looked at, we want them to think of an accommodation or an invention that will help them since they are lacking electricity, cars, whatever they choose, and what invention would replace This is our resources page. Our book is the first one where we got our Virginia SOL standards from our SOL standards for third grade. And our author website gives a lot of good information about Andrew Clements. He's a wonderful writer. Thank you.